Hey, what's up? Um, Toy House here. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, sort of what I've been doing in Classic WoW and uh, some of the things I've learned that I think uh, could be helpful to you. So um, basically right now it's phase six, pre-patch is supposedly coming out in about a month. And uh, I made an alternate character, an alt uh, druid. He's about level 56 right now. And uh, something I've noticed is just how easy it is to make gold uh, in, in ways that like I've never known about before. Um, like I've made so much gold from just buying stuff, random crap from vendors and selling it. So I want to go through some of those items because uh, I think that's going to help you because I don't know how many of you guys knew that's like, what's it called? Simple wood. It's been selling for like, like a gold 40 a pop and like I think you buy it from a vendor for like less than a silver um flint and tinder same thing uh just buying like um like food like like apple pie or like <laughs> or uh what is that roasted quail dude the level 45 food roasted quail sells sells like hotcakes uh flasks I've sold uh like viled flasks for over a gold I've sold um fishing poles skinning knives like i feel like i'm becoming a goblin i don't know if you guys knew about this there's like a goblin community on for world of warcraft i'm sure you guys know you guys are all crazy informed i probably just didn't teach you guys anything um maybe a few of you but um yeah like i've been making a ton of gold on this alt character just like leveling larval acid right now just sold for like six gold it was awesome and uh, a really big one is actually uh fishing so if you guys haven't uh seen my fishing video I actually um, basically learned how to level fishing very quickly and then made a video on it and uh, man I've been fishing a bunch and making a ton of gold actually through fishing and the way I've been doing this and uh, it's gonna make you guys hate me but uh, I gotta be honest with you all um, I went into Alteric Valley and I think my fishing was only at like maybe 260 or something I bought the big iron fishing pole, uh, highly recommend it gets plus 20 fishing skill on it. Um, that you can get from, uh, basically the cages under, uh, the Sartheris strand and Desolus. Uh, it's near, uh, Raven Tusk village. Anyways, um, I'm fishing in Alteric Valley and I know this is a terrible thing to do, you know, because it's Alteric Valley and you should be, you know, contributing to the fight in some way. But, um, you know, I'm level 56 and uh, I decided, hey, you know, what if I just fished at this pond over here? And uh, yeah, man, I just caught a ton of fish sell it, selling really good. Um, and Alliance actually wins a pretty good amount uh, in Alturk Valley. So I know cra crazy to, to say or even to think because back in the day when I remember like phase three, maybe like when Battlegrounds came out. Dude, I don't think I ever won a single AV back in the day. Uh, but Alliance wins decent, a decent amount. And um, what's actually really awesome about doing this while you're leveling uh, a character, say level, you know, in, in the 50s, of course, it'd be at least 51. The Alteric Valley quest is really awesome because um, you get a blue item, a uh, Bloodseeker, Ice Barb Spear, um, a Frost Damage Wand or a mace which offers i think five or no three mp5 so for casters like a mace um it's really i mean it's pretty awesome like ice barb spear is incredible for i don't know like most classes like what like warrior paladin hunter whoever else can use it um and then you know heart seeker is great for hunters uh, i think it might be it might have been pre-raid bis even uh for hunters um of course you need the frost wand for EQ40, for uh, Vesidius, whatever his name is. Um, but also, if you just get honored with your respective faction in Alteric Valley, whether that be the Frost Wolves or the... Um, what the heck are those dwarves called? I don't know what the Alliance one's called. But um, if you get honored, there's a ton of gear that's really good, actually. Three, three blues... For me, the attack power ones, it's a necklace, a cloak, and a belt that are all really good for level 55 that you can just buy for a couple gold. Um, so that's totally worth doing. 
it's something that I realized like, wow, this is like hitting three birds with one stone. I've been grinding Alteric Valleys. I've been fishing, getting lots of fish. I've been going into the cave, getting some XP by killing harpies, uh, all while getting Alteric Valley reputation and getting free gear. So you're leveling not as fast, but there's a ton of benefits there for you. And, you know, with pre-patch coming, you might want to take advantage of this uh, for an alt character. Once you hit level 51, definitely, at the bare minimum, go ahead and do that Alteric Valley quest. All you have to do is win one Alteric Valley, and then you can get that blue item. Um, but other than that, there's tons of benefits. Leveling your fishing skill, uh, even just grinding mobs. Alteric Valley is great. And I'm sorry to anyone who's pissed off that you're not, I'm not actually contributing to winning the battleground. Um, I know it's, it's, I do feel bad about it, but at least I'm not completely AFK, right? I don't know. Anyways, um, what else have I been doing? Well, um, I've also been preparing for pre-patch by making tons of gold. Um, you know, I, I want to try to get up to 5k. So, you know, I highly recommend TSM. I've been finding a lot of uh, value there. Um, it's basically an add-on. You can get it from, I think, like Curse. Curse is really good for add-ons. If you get Curse Forge, can really easily update your add-ons for you. Uh, I'd recommend getting TSM, stands for Trade Skill Master. Um, basically, just in, make, a, make an account, input, which, which realm you're on. It keeps you up to date. You can easily, quickly impost stuff. So I've been using that, making a ton of gold. I think I'm at about 1,700 gold right now. I haven't done a single GDKP on any of my characters. Um, and I have a bunch of gold. And I have epic mounts on all my characters that are 60 plus. And I have a level 60 Priest, 60 Druid, and a 60 Warlock. Oh, sorry, my Druid's not 60 yet. He's only level 56. Um... But yeah, so that's that's basically what I've been doing. Um, I think uh, I wanted to get, tell you guys a story really quickly, if you still have time. Um, World of Warcraft is a feeling. Like, this game is so awesome. I, I get so hyped. Like, it's the thing I look forward to the most when I wake up. I know, I'm addicted. But you know what? Um, that's basically why I haven't been pumping out videos like crazy. Uh, I've just been just been playing so much World of Warcraft uh, as much as I possibly can. Uh, it's just so much fun. Uh, I have to admit, you know, I've played most classes now at this point in Classic. Originally, I leveled a 60 Hunter. Uh, then I leveled uh, my next 60, I guess you could say, in Classic was a Warlock. And then a Priest. And now I'm leveling a Druid. Druid's incredibly fun. Um, it's definitely not the strongest class. Um, I have to be honest. But it is very fun. Being able to shift forms and using hotkeys really helps a lot. I've got all my stuff hotkeyed. Um, just like, you know, you're in travel form, you jump into the water, you go into water form, then jump back out, go into travel form. Like, everything hotkeyed, like, it just flows so nicely playing a druid. And uh, being able to stealth is huge. You can skip things. You can, you know, hide. It's, it's a really great anti-gank utility. I was playing on Harad for a long time. Being able to stealth is just great because it breaks someone casting on you if they're, you know, if they're like a mage about to like cast a fireball on you. You just quickly shift into like a a cat and stealth. It cancels their cast. It's it's really helped get away a lot from getting ganked. I've actually recently moved over to Benediction uh, from Harad on all my characters. I'm noticing a lot of people are doing that as well. A lot of uh, Harad sort of uh, migrants. Those poor. Poor bastards. Harad is a, is a gang fest, unfortunately. But I went to Benediction, and I was kind of surprised to see that the same is happening there. Um, except the tables have turned. The Alliance are kind of just doing the same, same things Horde were doing. Just Gadget Xan, I'm seeing Alliance kill Horde. Um, just seeing it all over the place. So if, you, uh, if you're if you on Harad and you want to switch, um, yeah, highly recommend. It's been, a, it's been a good experience so far. Really excited about... TBC. Another reason I probably haven't been making videos a lot lately is because uh, I didn't get into the TBC beta, and uh, that was really disappointing. I'm not gonna lie; like I was discouraged for like several days. Like, what am I supposed to? What am I supposed to do? But I have a bunch of awesome video ideas coming up. Um, this video has been a little bit different, but I kind of wanted to just uh, connect with you guys. Not necessarily, you know, have such a highly informational video but uh kind of just have a conversation with you all and uh talk about what's been on my mind lately but the next video will definitely be uh more information heavy hopefully have more value nuggets for you guys that'll uh you can take away to improve 
um, basically, you know, you're either your questing speed or doing things in the right order, avoiding mistakes, avoiding regrets, <laughs> not even one letter. We don't want you having any regrets. Um, and hopefully we can, uh, we can get you guys some awesome goodies. I've noticed a few awesome things happening in the, uh, TBC beta that are I'm probably going to talk about in the next few, uh, videos. I know a while ago, I asked you all if you thought that achievements would be in, in the Burning Crusade. And uh, I've got a lot of hate for that. But you know what? That's what makes the World of Warcraft community great, is that we can all hate on each other and uh, no hurt feelings. So supposedly, um, there are some uh, hints at achievements in Classic TBC uh, based off of data mining. Now, this uh, is probably unpopular to many, but to some, and once again, myself included, I think it's kind of exciting. Um, I like achievements because as like a completionist who gets excited about World of Warcraft and wants to do all the different things, level every class to max level, um, I think that's kind of cool to have achievements. So supposedly some data mining is indicating at possible achievements uh, happening in uh, TBC. Um, there's also some news that the blacksmithing weapon, Drake Fist Hammer, is only uh, main hand. Uh, instead of one hand, which means it's no longer dual wieldable. Um, this is not, this is not good. This is not a change that I'm happy about, and I suspect many melee players are not happy about. Um, and more. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for being part of uh, this channel, part of this, uh, this community, uh, and uh, I really look forward to playing a ton of World of Warcraft with you all, whether you're Horde or Alliance. Looking forward to gaming it up with you all. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.